tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock on the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock on the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock on the clock, but the party don't stop. Oh, 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 oh. And we are back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend so far. And listen, I know, I know, the intro, I know. But right now, my creativity's kind of been put on hold just because the goose, my French bulldog, who just had surgery, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, he's requiring pretty much all of my attention right now. So, well, my attention's focused on getting the goose back to good, my creativity's kind of taking a back burner. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with that super cringe intro for just a little longer, guys. I promise we'll get a new one rolling soon enough soon enough and speaking of the goose real quick just to give you guys a quick quick update he is doing really really well he's eating he's drinking water he's bouncing around acting like a complete knucklehead like he usually does today i laid down to meditate and take a little snooze and now he decided to jump up and meditate and snooze with me uh, we got a pretty good night's sleep last night um i got that cone off his head and he's been amazing hasn't tried to mess with his stitches or his drain yet so he's doing really well doing really well again thank you guys i can never thank you guys enough but thank you so much for all all the prayers positive vibes healing vibes positive energy you guys have sent this way thank you so so much and i also want to say before we dive into the madness <laughs> i uh, put a paypal link um, it was requested from a few different comments that I put a PayPal link in the, somewhere in the description. Um, I did yesterday, and I just wanted to say thank you so much, Ralph, Craig, Mike, Emily, Bikel, and Willows Media. I don't want to use you guys' last names. I didn't ask your permission to do so, but thank you guys all so much. I... I don't even know what to say. You guys, just, this whole community just blows me away with all the love and support. So, <laughs> thank you. So, in case you're wondering what kind of uh, insanity, stupidity, dumbassery, douchebaggery, degeneracy, nonsense, <laughs> just making up words again, that's going to be in today's video, just look at the screen. Attention, masks must be worn while showering. Please keep your mask on while using the shower. Thank you for your cooperation, Highland Pool Management. Don't know where that is. Can you imagine the second I saw this sign, it made me think that if I had a mask on and was taking a shower, I would pretty good get a good idea of what waterboarding felt like. Like, what? What? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for coming back. Be prepared once again, once again, to lose some brain cells, have your mind blown. It's not getting any better you're gonna see that you're definitely gonna see that in today's episode of epic woke TikTok fails TikTok mm. is degenerate trash uh. correct <laughs> and it's only getting worse as you're about to see in one second listen if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button become a part of the greatest community on the YouTubes join us on this journey we're trying to keep laughing during these crazy times when we all just want to cry. But we're going to get through it together. And if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And share this video out. I've noticed some things in my analytics with the, about the past week, week and a half with the videos. Something's going on. Uh, and I figured a few things out where YouTube is not putting this in these videos in recommendation feeds or anything like that. So the videos aren't getting out like they were a little while ago. I'm not sure what the reason is behind that but something uh, smells a little fishy so share this video out people need to see what's going on out there in the minds of these lunatics anyway it says could someone please explain what po pomo se oh here we go pomo sexual is pomo p-o-m-o -O. this is a new one we haven't heard this we have not heard this one yet here we've covered a lot of them we have not heard this one yet this is new Get ready for it. Roll the film, please. Homosexuality is basically a label for people who feel the need to have a label, but they don't fit in any other labels. So basically, bi doesn't really fit them, lesbian doesn't really fit them, pan, asexual, etc. It doesn't really 
describe them correctly. So yes, it's a very small label, but it's for people who just kind of relax once they have a label. Like, I stress out when I don't have a label. Um, so it puts my mind at ease a little. And it's, it's for people who want that. It's kind of the same as unlabeled, but unlabeled people don't want a label. That's the difference. So, yeah. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You are a fucking idiot. Wow! The land of make-believe! Whoa, what just happened? Oh, <laughs> did you guys catch that? So, I'm almost 100% sure that this person was sitting around probably bored one day, didn't have anything to do, didn't have a job to go to or anything, um, and just made this word up. Just after the first sentence of what she's, of that, what this person said, I, I lost track. What? Just check this out real quick. Roll it. Homosexuality is basically a label for people who feel the need to have a label, but they don't fit in any other labels. What the fuck does that even mean? Uh, okay. One last part. But it's for people who just kind of relax once they have a label. Like, I stress out when I don't have a label. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So they, this this kid or this guy, this girl... This person says, so I stress out when I don't have a label. I don't even... Huh? I, moving right along. All right, up next. Sorry to, I did, sorry to spend so much time on that first one. Just every single part of that, every word that came out, I was just... I, I, all right, never mind. This one is worse. Check it out. Roll the film! I'm Dr. Ariana Sloan, token black, gay, and communist friend to many. If you're being sent this, it's because you're a straight person in a friend group full of vibrant, radiant gays. Your gay friends love and care about you, which is why they want you to fuck up it. You are absolutely harshing the vibes with your breeder tendencies. Honestly, your gay friends are getting worried for you. You keep on talking about how unmentally ill you are and how much you love Grey's Anatomy. Yesterday, you looked at a picture of a straight couple getting married at Disneyland and you didn't feel embarrassed for anyone involved. I mean, think about how your decision to be straight is affecting your loved ones. I'm going to show you some images of straight people and you tell me how they make you feel. You can stop being straight today because you can't make a heart with just straight lines. This message was brought to you by the National Gay Agenda. Get more information at www.normalbreeders.com. Where are the white women at? Scary gay. Scary gay. Scary gay. Stop! What did we just listen to? A token black gay and communist friend to many. It, I think the creepiest thing about this was at the end when it said the national gay agenda. No more breeders dot com. This is that was getting a little bizarre. Moving right along. All right. Next up. If you go to Hawaii on vacation, you are a colonizer. The fact that people are still going to visit Hawaii. Roll it. The fact that people are still going to visit Hawaii, even though Native Hawaiians are requesting desperately that people stop coming, tells us that colonizers will always colonize. There are so many tourists that people who live on the island are being told to restrict their water use there's so many cars that people are parking them and blocking highways. The mayor of Maui has even requested airlines stop bringing people to the islands. And before you say tourism helps the islands, no, it doesn't. It creates a dependence on the upper class who is all of the tourists. Trust me, there are hundreds of other things that local communities would rather be doing than serving entitled outsiders. We don't have to theorize whether colonization would happen in present day because it is happening in present day and we're witnessing it now. We cannot let the past be repeated. He's an angry elf. What a bitch. <laughs> uh, just imagine if 
all tourism stopped in Hawaii. No one else went there. I, these people don't understand. It's just all about we're colonizers. Moving right along. Okay, this lady we've had in a couple of other videos. She's always got these songs for the shots. I, it's really bizarre. Roll it! Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca, Johnson and Johnson, all approved in Canada, safe and effective of top quality. These are a few of my favorite vaccines. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> the poor, poor little cute little puppy there, little dog. These people don't even understand that they're promoting big pharma. Like they don't, that doesn't that doesn't even cross their mind. The thought doesn't even cross their mind. Promoting big government, big pharma. Uh, really strange times we're in. Keep it moving. All right, up next, I think we can tell right off the jump that this one's going nowhere. Good. Roll it. Ooh, I'm super straight. I'm only attracted to women who can bear me children. Babe, that's called a breeding kink. And it's not a sexuality. Ladies, shut up! Wait, you wait. are a fucking moron. This was quite obvious right from the get-go of this TikTok. What do we always say here at this channel? What do we always say? The eyes, Chico. They never lie. <laughs> it's always the eyes. Always the eyes! <laughs> so here we have another one who's been inducted to the liberal meltdown wall of shame the thing is this late man person i don't i don't know what, what what's going on this person the eyes were like that this whole time they never stopped this the whole time it, and they said that if you're attracted to somebody who can have children that's a birthing kink what moving right along all right listen if you've made it this far give yourselves a round of applause a pat on the back we are almost done you guys know i say it every time i cannot do this alone so thank you thank you thank you for trudging ahead and making it this far we are just about there we're about to cross the finish line so we know that they're trying to get the shot as you can see, they all got their little band-aids here. And Poynton has so happy at their band-aid. They're trying to get the shot rolled out more into black neighborhoods. They're saying, you know, the neighborhoods are, aren't getting the shot as they would like. Uh, well, as the powers that be would like. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to play this. I'm going to have to mute the song, but we'll read it still. So, roll the film, please. We stay moving, I don't wait round. Coming for the All right, it says, let's not da dance around the issue. The shot is safe and effective and available now. Find a shot near you. Text your zip code. How about new? No, oh, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> I just, I just can't believe they're still putting out ads like this. Like, do you really think somebody sees this ad, sees them pointing at their band-aid, sees the words on the screen, them dancing, and says, Oh, yeah, let me write that number down and, uh, let me text that number to see, to see where I can go. Do you think anybody really does that? Yes. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking too, but... Who knows anymore? I mean, who knows what anybody's doing? It's all just, none of it makes sense anymore. So let's just keep it moving. <laughs> all right, this is the last one. We I can't take anymore, so we're going to wrap it up after this. We're going to end it on a funny one, though. This is hilarious. All right, so a Team Great Britain, I'm guessing. Uh, swimming, a couple of the guys here. Now, the lady interviewing them says... Something that makes sense to swimming, which these guys obviously know what she's talking about. But, of course, they're 18 years old. They get their, still got their 18-year-old minds. Watch their faces when she says this. Their reactions are priceless. This is hysterical. Let me get my big melon out the way so you can see the whole thing. All right. Check it out. Roll the film, please. 
You're 18 years old, it's your first Olympics, and you swam, honestly, your third leg was just phenomenal. Yeah, I mean... You're 18 years old, it's your first Olympics, and you swam, honestly, your third leg was just phenomenal. Yeah, I mean... You're 18 years old, it's your first Olympics, and you swam, honestly, your third leg was just phenomenal. Yeah, I mean... Ah, listen, I got to give it to those two 18-year-old guys from Great Britain. I, I have the same kind of toilet humor. I got a weird, twisted, sick sense of humor, just like them. So I would have been doing the same thing standing up there next to them. I would have been chuckling, giggling, laughing back then when I was 18. And I'd be doing it now today. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's a wrap. We're done. Thank you guys so much. If you've made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, I'll say it, I can't do it alone. I need you guys on this journey with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us all on this journey. Like I said, we're getting through these tough times together. We got to keep laughing or we're all doomed. And Once again, I just want to say thank you to Ralph, Craig, Mike, Willows Media, Emily, and Bakel. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the PayPal donations. I... I don't know what to say. Um, you guys, you guys are just the absolute most amazing people on the planet in this community, and I'm blessed. We're blessed to have each other. I say it every time. The world's gone crazy. Clearly, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Peace.